is the path back to... Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. What other stories have you got? There was once a scorpion who wished to travel to the other side of a river. Why? If you continue to interrupt, I will end the story. Okay, okay. The scorpion asked the frog for help. He told the frog that if he gave him a ride across the river on his back, he would be rewarded. The frog protested, fearing the scorpion would sting him. The scorpion assured the frog that he would not sting him, or they would both drown in the river. The frog agreed, but halfway across the river, the scorpion stung him. The frog was mortally wounded, and they both sunk to the bottom of the river and perished. That's sad. Why would the scorpion do that? He was a scorpion. It is his nature to do harm. Oh. That's just what Mom used to say about the gods. Your mother always spoke the truth. Enough stories. You want to dock here? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. I bet this will be out. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods are welcome here.
There he is. I hope he remembers us. Here, boy. Okay, that's going in the journal. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Here, boy. I know those runes. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there. What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove. Swim aloft in oceans above. Ah, wind. Vinder. Look what it did!
Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. Who do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. 